What's up, YouTube? My name is Gray, and we are back with a brand new episode of Pokemon Uranium. In the last episode, we beat everyone in the championship of Tandor, except for Theo, who was our final opponent. We got interrupted by this mofo right here. And we're going to save before him, because I got a feeling that we're going to want to catch him. Yeah. Octot. Oh, God, that's fucking level 80. Jesus Christ! I'm worried. Um. Oh. Oh no. And a crit? What the fuck? Uh. 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 Just. 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 I don't know what to do against this thing, because I don't know what type it is. Drizzle. Aqua Jet. How much does this do? About half. Okay. Oh, lantern. Yeah. Yes, use the next Pokemon. Um. Ooh, we outspeed. That's good. Flinch. Yes! Okay. We can get an ominous wind and not kill it. Oh, excellent. Okay. Iron defense. Now it's in the red, because I'm I want to catch this thing. We're gonna use nuclear balls, because that's what we were given. Oh, didn't even shake once. This Pokemon can't be caught? Um... Okay, we'll just knock it out. That's weird. Bravo, Gray! I saw the entire thing. You really are amazing. Leo and I evacuated the area while you were battling with the legendary Pokemon. Still, this is concerning. What could have happened that made Akjan leave the heart of the mountain? I believe I can offer an explanation. You see, my gym is atop Mount Lathanite in East Tandor, inside of which dwells another legendary Pokemon, Akjan's brother, Lanthan. Although both Pokemon have been asleep for centuries, Lanthan sometimes speaks to its chief, Aqualites, through its dreams. Perhaps I could communicate with Acton in the same manner. Will you allow me to try? It's our best chance to discover what went wrong, but it's a nuclear Pokemon. It could be dangerous. Danger? I have no fear of danger. I am Varian the Dragon. Right, right. Go ahead, then. Brother of Darkness, heed my call. What? The radiation faded from his body? Amazing! Legendary Pokemon are truly incredible! Almighty oh, Brother of Darkness, why do you wake what has disturbed your slumber? Brr, I see. This is troubling news indeed. Octod says it was awakened by another legendary Pokemon which suddenly appeared in its lair. It began siphoning energy from the rare metals at the heart of Mount Actinite. Octon attempted to defend its territory, but the other Pokemon was too powerful. The radioactive energy it was emitting made Octon lose control. It says the other Pokemon commanded it to attack the arena. <sighs> Seems you have earned Octon's respect and wants to join you. Hell yeah! Now, Octon is very quality. Um. <sighs> Angel Dust, I think you've done your part. Okay. Rare metals, that's right. The core of Mount Actinite contains a massive amount of crude uranium. Of course, I should have known. Uranium Kiri never left Tandor. They've been right here all this time. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you weak, pathetic fools! You thought you had defeated us, but your mistake only gave us more time! That was all we needed in order to get all that we desired! Ultimate power! And now it is the hour of reckoning! 
Fury, stop this at once. Whatever you're planning to do, please. If there's anything human left inside you, don't do this. Whatever it is you're planning, you could kill hundreds if not thousands of innocent people. Why? Why? What is the meaning of this? Why? A weakling such as yourself would, could not begin to understand this hunger, this eternal agony we have suffered. There is but one way to end it. Ultimate power, utter annihilation! This is what we crave, the total obliteration of all that stand in our way! You're a psychopath, and that thing you commanded isn't even a Pokemon, it's an abomination! Brave words from a fool, they are soon to be your last. And you, you infuriating child! You pushed us back to the brink of despair, but our agonizing defeat led us to discover something new. As we fled, we found a book hidden among the ruins of what you call civilization. Within its pages was the very key we needed, our pathway to ascension. It told us of the uranium ores in this mountain and their guardian. Well, that guardian was no match for us. Now Uranus is absorbing the last of the ores energy. Soon the transformation will be complete. Uranus has achieved its true form, an angel of destruction. Oh shit. Warning, radiation spike imminent! Evacuate the area immediately! Gray, your hazard suit. It's the only thing that can withstand the radiation produced by Urain. You're our only hope. Are you saying Gray had to fight Curie again? All on their own? You're crazy! You're saying you'll do it? Sheesh, Gray, you make the rest of us look bad! If Gray is gonna be a hero, then I wanna help too! If we are exposed to the radiation, we'll die within minutes. So will the rest of the people in this arena unless we get them out of here. Theo, Varen, Professor, I need your help to get as many people as you can to safety. You got it, Chief! I can do my part to protect people! I'll radio my managers for backup. We'll dispatch a hazard team as quickly as possible. But I'm afraid that when we arrive, we might be too late. Gray, you are the only trainer in this region who has defeated Curie before. Although this time it will be different. Uranus has awakened an unimaginable power. Still, we don't have a choice. You are the only one who stands a chance. So please, I need you. Tandor needs you. I have to go. If I stay any longer, the radiation will kill me. Gray, I believe in you. I love you. Goodbye. <coughs> Feels. <laughs> Your friends and family have abandoned you. Don't you see? You're nothing but a tool to them. A pawn they are more than happy to sacrifice. How disgusting. Humans are nothing but weak, selfish creatures. And the Pokemon that fight for them are no better. Nothing will give us greater joy and satisfaction than to erase them all from existence with a massive thermonuclear detonation. And we'll start with you. You who have accused us who have caused us such suffering. We'll return that agony to you tenfold! Uh-oh. Is Urain here? Yes! At last we are complete! True power is in our grasp, and with it we have realized our perfect form! Behold! Gamma Urain! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. <sighs> uh, well. Um. I, I'm very worried. I am very worried. But we got Octon at the front. I'm gonna save the game here. Because hopefully Octan is going to be enough to defeat Uranus. This is it! This is the end! Now I am become death! Uh. Oh. No. Chernobyl? Toxic fallout has set in? Ooh. Um. Metal Cruncher? Oh Fuck me. Special attack harshly fell, its attack is halved. Its offensive stats are next to nothing. Alright. We there's no way we're gonna outspeed this unless we use priority. We have to get what little damage we can in.
That does not do much, does it? Oh, the music, too. What's this thing's speed like, I wonder? Its attacks won't be too effective against Doug, I don't think. It used overheat again, okay. Answer to steel types. But its special attack was... Are you serious? That's a little bit insane if you ask me. Um... Full restore on Doug. Go ahead, keep lowering your special attack, dude. That's a lot of, uh... I'm glad I stocked up on healing items. Yeah. And that's not very effective. Um... We're going to revive Octon. Uh, we're going to use a full restore here, too. Because uh, Doug is not going to be knocked out by overheat. No. He's not. Um, let's see. So another revive. We're going to use that on Lantern. Do you not have any more overheats, or are you just saving them? Because Doug here doesn't give a flying frick about you right now. Which I think is goddamn hilarious. Now we use overheat. That, this might kill. It does not kill. You're, <laughs> you're a fool. You're a fool and a bastard. That's what you get. I think it has like one overheat left, if I'm counting right, because overheat just has five PP. Octon is fully healed now. What do you think you're gonna do? Sir, what do you think you can do against Doug? We have 99 full restores. What do you think you're going to do to Doug? You're lucky you're still alive, lad. Keep keep atomic punching. See where that gets you. <clears throat> atomic punchy. Uh, let's see. You're in. You're a fool. You're a bloody fool. You just need to perish. And there's your last overheat. Nice. Cool. Good job. Special attack won't go any lower. Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> Bleh. Atomic punch you. It's funny. Kiri thinks she can beat us. Not a wench like that. Not with that attitude. You can't. Flinch? No. I'll be damned. One last atomic punch on Urane? I swear to God. Dog is just a fucking god! He took down an angel of death! Jesus. What? No, 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 no! No! Impossible! You... How could you be stronger than us? Carefully. Uh oh. You. I'll kill you all by myself. I'll. Ah! Uh, yeah! What? Isn't... Isn't that the sprite for our mom from the fucking beginning of the game? The radiation stopped all of a sudden. Gray, you did it, didn't you? You stopped Urane. You saved Tandor again. Against all odds, you... 
you stood up to an unfathomable foe and won. Gray, I'm speechless. What you did was incredible. Is that... Curie? Seems like their interface was destroyed. That was the helmet that allowed them to control your reign. Finally. Let us see who the monster is behind that mask. Gray, you did it! We're saved! You managed to defeat your reign's ultimate form! We were taking people to shelter in Victory Road when we heard the... 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 the you... You saved me! You saved all of us again! I, I'm not crying, I swear! Gray, you're really special, you know? I'm so glad! I'm so glad to have known you! No! No. I... I won't believe this! There's... There's no way this can be true! Lucille... How, how could it be you? So... It was our mom? What the f- WHY?! That's what I wanna know! Lucille, Lucille is alive?! Lucille is Curie?! How can this be?! Incredible! She really is alive! <laughs> alive! She doesn't even look any different from how she did on the day she disappeared in the power plant meltdown a decade ago! I've never seen or heard of anything like this! Hmm! Cameron, did you... did you know about Lucille? Did you know my wife was alive?! I... barely... I mean, I had to consider the possibility, but... I didn't think it was likely she'd survive the blast, or that somehow she managed to remain alive and undetected for years in the ruins of that power plant, but... Well, she was the head scientist on Power Plant Epsilon, the power plant which was used as a front for illegal experimentation conducted by Larkspur Laboratories. I thought it might be possible that she was involved in the project which created Urain. And you didn't mention this to me. Why?! Because I thought she was dead, everyone did. Except for you. Silence, I don't want to hear another word! Gray, that's your mom, isn't it? Your mom was Curie? So then, why'd she do it? Why would she go all crazy and try to murder everybody? Sorry, no offense, it's just I'm having a hard time understanding why anyone would threaten the entire region. She hurt me, and she hurt my dad and Kellen, too. How come she didn't recognize you? Did she lose her memory? It's possible the interface was responsible. Curie's helmet works as a mental relay. It exchanges thoughts and commands at a distance in order to let its wearer control your reign. It's likely that prolonged use of the interface caused her mind to become frayed, causing her memory to deteriorate, and her personality to change completely. The music. In short, she lost her mind. But that would require a ridiculous length of time of sustained use. Perhaps ten years or so. So you think she somehow wore that helmet for ten years? But how would, could she survive for the so long? I think I might have an idea about that. Ray, do you remember the tank that Curie put me in at Vinoville's power plant? Before they did, they said something like, Now you'll suffer like we have suffered. So I think that they, I mean, she, I think she survived in a thesis tank for all those years. That's what she meant. Yeesh, that must have been agony. I mean, I was only inside of one for a short amount of time, but it was still one of the worst experiences in my life. It's like, you're not unconscious exactly, but you don't have any way to tell how much time has passed. Every moment in there feels like it lasts forever. That kind of makes sense, actually. It explains how she survived for 10 years in the ruins of that power plant. It explains why she went crazy and became Curie. Poor Kellen. His only hope was to see his wife once more. Part of him must be overjoyed that she's somehow alive, but finding out like this, it's going to be hard for him to cope with this revelation. Plus, she's going to have to answer for her, for her crimes as Curie. That is, if she wakes up. She needs medical attention. I'm going to make sure she gets there safely. Kellen, do what you must. Staraptor, let's go. What? 
Oh, what is it now? What? It's your rain! Quick, we gotta beat it again fast before it tries to destroy us again! <laughs> Wait, Theo, something's different about it. It's only in its alpha form. That's its least powerful state. True, I don't... <laughs> Shit. The wrong voice. True, I don't sense hot and style intent. Somehow, without Kiri, it seems different. Hello? Hello? Did you guys hear that? Where'd that voice come from? Can you hear me? Humans listen? I don't believe this. It's using some form of telepathy to communicate. Fascinating. No. No more hurt. No more hunger. I'm free now. Did Akton do something to your reign? Wow! Yes. Friend gave a gift. Eternal energy. No more hunger. No more fear. From what I remember of the legends, Octan is said to be the creator of all radioactive metals. Maybe it shared some of its power with Urane? The critical flaw in Urane's design was its constant need for fuel. If it ran out of nuclear power, it would go dormant and eventually die. But if the legendary gave it a self-sustaining energy source, then it won't need to attack power plants for uranium rods anymore. Sorry. No more hurt. Afraid. For so long afraid. Only friend helped me survive. Two became one. Needed each other. And the hunger never stopped. Had to destroy. Had to make it go away. Needed energy. Only trying to survive. But where did your aim come from? Why was it created? I've been trying to figure that out for so long. Remember. They made me in a place, dark, underground. Every day they came, ran tests. I tried to reach out, but I couldn't move. No one could hear me. I was alone, all alone until... Cerebral use 092 relay and inhibitor engine. Testing, testing. Hello, is... Someone there? Hello, this is the head scientist on the U092 project. I am transmitting brainwaves right now through the experimental Kiri interface. If you can hear me, please respond. What is this? Where am I? What am I? You are an artificial life form. Oh, wait, this is our mom talking. You are an artificial life form that was created in our laboratory. You are a type of something called a Pokemon. But you are one of a kind. There are no others like you alone. Data collection is sufficient for now. We will speak again soon. That was the first time, but later, they were there again. They would talk to me. We became friends. My name? A name is a special word that describes what you are. You are called U092. That's your experiment number. Most of the time, a number is enough, but for really special experiments, they get a unique name. You are special. Exceptional, really. So you get another name, too. Urane. My name is... Urane? What is your name? Well, well, aren't you a curious one? Let's just say... Because I'm using the Kiri interface to talk with you, you can call me Kiri. Every day, my friend was there. And at night, when all the others left, they stayed behind. They told me about the world beyond the lab, a world I would someday see, and my purpose to change it for the better. I would create infinite energy, they said, improve the lives of people in Pokemon. This was my purpose, until one day. Urane, please respond. Hello, friend is not happy. I can feel what you feel. Why are you upset? Urane, they just told me. They've decided to abort the U092 project. All my years of research, discoveries, and breakthroughs. And you, they plan to destroy you. Destroy me? Why? 
You were never supposed to have a mind in the first place. You were intended to be an empty shell, a living machine. But as soon as I interfaced with you, I realized that you were so much more than that. That's why I needed to cover it up. I hid my findings from the other researchers. If they found out, they would have destroyed you sooner. Urane, I didn't tell you this, but experiments like you are highly illegal. Creating a new kind of Pokemon is something that other humans won't allow, even one that will help make the world a better place. Dr. Larkspur has, is a goddamn coward. He'd rather destroy all evidence you ever existed. He's a liar, a fraud, and a murderer. I can't believe I ever trusted him. What's happening? What will they do? Urane, listen to me. I will not allow them to do this. As long as I'm still alive, I will protect you. You deserve to live, and I'm willing to sacrifice everything I have to make sure that's possible. Do you understand? My friend, you'll save me? You'll stop the bad humans from destroying me? I promise you, I'll do whatever it takes. Urane, we need to act quickly. What is going on? They've activated the remote termination sequence. There's a nuclear reactor above us. It's about to blow. Both of us will be destroyed when it does, so we need to move fast if we want a chance to survive. What do we do? I don't want to die. There's only one way we can both survive the blast. I've sealed this room completely so that nothing can come in or out. Your stasis tank is the only way I'll be shielded from the radiation. But once I go in, there won't be any way I can get out. We'll have to stay in stasis together for as long as is necessary. But I'll have this interface. We'll be connected even while in stasis. This is our only chance. We're out of options. I want to live. Please, don't leave me. I'm scared. Shh, it's, it's going to be okay. I made you a promise. I intend to keep it. I'll never abandon you. I'll always stay by your side. Always. Scared and hungry. My friend and I, together, we were so hungry for so long. And then we got free. We knew that to stop the hunger, we needed nuclear fuel, and with our power, it was easy to just take what we needed, but it was never enough. The hunger kept growing. We got stronger and stronger until I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I didn't know what we were doing, that it was wrong. The hunger is gone now. I've been so afraid for so long. I thought all humans were out to destroy me, but now, I know that isn't true. Big Yon, you protect your friends just like my friend protected me, so that's why I want to join you. I want to travel by your side and see the world without fear. I think this is what my friend would want. It recalls the Atom Ball? We got your rain! Kiri was transferred to Twitch's PC. We have to. We don't have a choice here, guys. Box one. You sense Octan is trying to tell you something. Human, you are proving yourself worthy. I await you in my lair, should you wish to battle again. My goodness, this has certainly been an unexpected turn of events. I have never in my life witnessed a championship like this one. Are we even going to hold the final round of battle? No, I think Grey more than deserved to be champion. After all, it's thanks to them that we're all still here right now. As long as you're in agreement, Theo, I am... Oh. I am. I, I hereby forfeit the championship. Grey, I think somehow, all along, a part of me knew you were destined to win. And you know what? I'm thrilled about that. I'm glad I got to be a part of your story. Very well. Gray, congratulations on becoming the new champion of Tandor. If you'll follow me, please. My heart! Ah! Ah! Okay. This is the Hall of Fame. It is somewhere only those who have earned the title of champion can go. Gray. You've had a very long adventure to arrive here, 
But now, that journey is finally at an end. Now, let's record your game and the names of your Pokemon for all of pro posterity. Blech. Words. Uh, Angel Dust isn't here now. I feel bad. We beat the league! Oh my god. We did it! We... Oh, it's Lantern as a BAM! Yo, that's... <laughs> is this... Is this concept art? Do we get to see the concept art for the end credits? Holy shit, dude! Guys, this game was freaking incredible! I love it so much! This is insanity! Oh, there's Angel, there's Angel Dust. Oh! Oh, the pumper has a bone. It is out and it's adorable. Oh my god, this was a trip. The feels at the end. And the final rival battle wasn't in the Elite Four or the Championship or anything like that. That's incredible. Theo just forfeited. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh my god, it's us. Look at- look at the boy. What is that now? I don't remember seeing that. Oh. The- oh. <laughs> Minecraft pixel art. I love it! Guys, this all has been a trip and a half. This game is incred- There's a plush?! Give me a Elitux a plush. This, this has just been incredible, guys. I don't know what else to say about it. This game is fucking beautiful. It's just... It's the right amount of story. The story is placed at just the right point. It's well thought out. It's difficult, but not too difficult. It has all the stuff that you want out of it. And look at the BAM! It even has, like, things that I really, really, really enjoy. Like, um... Uh, uh, what, what you call it? The, um... The starter choice thing. Uh, let's go downstairs and see what they have to say. Hello, auntie. Good morning, Gray. Your parents are in the other room. Come, let us say hello. Lucille, poor dear. Your father brought her home not too long ago. She hasn't woken up yet. Maybe some time before she recovers. Still, after ten long years, it's good to have the entire family together under one roof. Thanks to you, Gray. You made our family whole again. I feel as though a huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I'm just happy we're all together again. Oh, that's the oven time, and I baked us all some cookies. Let me go and get them. Lucille. There's no way to know how much damage the Curie interface did to her mind, or how long it will take to undo it. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I've stepped out as Chief of the Tandor Rangers. Looking after her is my number one priority now. Eventually, I'll see your eyes open again, Lucille. I made everyone cookies. Here you are. Aw, thanks, Auntie. Don't eat it too quickly now. It's still fresh out of the oven. Oh, Gray. A letter arrived in the mail for you. Seems that since you've become champion of Tandor, you've been receiving a lot of fan mail. It's on the table in the other room. Why don't you open it? Okay. 
Uh, Hinata and Kaito show the two final gym leaders. Honored Grey, there is a stirring in the wind. The gods murmur in the deep. A storm brews on the horizon. Our village will soon be in danger. Without your help, Suki Nami will fall? What did the letter say? It looks so formal, I didn't want to touch it. Well, that's certainly vague. They wouldn't call for aid unless it was something serious, though. I wonder who... I wonder, could it have to do with pirates? There's a piracy problem in East Tandor. I know that the rangers over there are having a hard time keeping them under control. Maybe they could use some help, too. The East Tandor Ranger HQ is located in the Angelure town. It's a scenic resort area, but it's also known as a haven for pirates and other riffraff. The further west you sail in the Tandor Sea, the more treacherous and lawless it becomes. But if there's anybody that can deal with these kinds of conditions, it's you, Gray. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to attend to Lucille, but if you ever need to find me, you'll know where I am. She doesn't respond. Her breathing is slow and even as though in a deep sleep. Oh, my heart. Hey, wait a up! Uh, hi, it's good to see you, Gray. Guess we came full circle, huh? We're back in Moki Town where it all started. Hey, I want to say congrats again on becoming champion. <laughs> you must be sick of hearing that by now. Well, you deserve it! With you get up on that stage facing off against Gamma Urane, there's nobody in the region more special than you! I mean it! Oh yeah, Dad wanted me to tell you to come to our house when you got a minute. I think he has something to give you. See you there! Alright, so... We're going to see what Cameron has for us. And we're not going to do the after game for this. Because I don't want to ruin the beautiful moment that just happened. This game, dude, this was a trip and a half. Everything is beautiful. The music is well put down. It's just goddamn incredible, man. Great here. Welcome to our home. You're always welcome here, Gray. Your actions have brought this family together again, as well as your own family. Why don't you two have a seat? I have to fetch something. Okay. Hey, Gray, don't forget you owe me a battle, right? No battling inside the house! Ah, oh, fine, Dad. <laughs> I like how he has to say that. Gray, I have a letter for you. It's from Interpol. You've received a commendation for your action on Sabin Curie. I received such an award, too, as well as a formal discharge from service. Notwithstanding the ultimately positive outcome, my actions were not standard protocol. Conducting research in secret, dropping off the grid, making, faking my own death, that's not how Interpol does things. Besides, now that my secret identity is compromised, I might as well adjust to civilian life. I remain here in Moki. I'll work with Killen to help find a cure for Lucille's... condition. Do you know what's wrong with her, Dad? It's not good. It will take a long time for her brain to repair the damage done by the Curie interface. But together with Kellen, we hope that one day her eyes will open and she will smile again. You're so lucky, Gray. You got your mom back. You got a second chance. Theo, not a day goes by that I don't think about what an incredible person your mother was. I see her reflected in you, you know. Your spark, your spirit, your determination. She lives on inside you. Mom. For your sake and for Dad's. As long as I'm alive, I won't stop fighting. And I won't give up. I'll climb all the way up from the bottom again if I have to. Gray, just you wait. We'll have a rematch. I'll be the champion of the arena. Theo, does that mean you're leaving? Yeah, I got unfinished business at the Pokemon League. I practically won once. I can't stop now. We'll climb all the way back to the top. That's a promise. And when I get there, I expect to see you standing opposite me, Gray. You'll finally have our faded battle. It's going to be our destiny. Aww. You know where to look for me. When you reach challenge to Pokemon League Grey, I'll be waiting there for you. Don't make me wait too long, okay? I'll be counting the minutes. Starting now! <laughs> okay, Theo. I should have known Theo always has been impossible to keep in one place for long. You be careful now. He might surpass you while you aren't looking. Although... Now that you become champion, maybe you aren't just concerned with being the very best. Perhaps you want to help people, just like your father. That's a noble goal, and I think I can help you. My contacts in Interpol are on the lookout for promising talent. And, well, you've already received a recommendation from them, so it's clear that they already have their eyes on you. But I'm no longer an agent. I don't know what they're planning. 
Still, if you're interested in police work, there's a place you can go. I think one of my friends from my earlier years is visiting Angel Lure Town right about now. Could be a vacation or it could be for work, but regardless, I think we would like to be meet you. If you're in the area, swing by. Tell them Cameron Stormbringer said his regard to just having a stroke trying to read his lines. Also, take this. It's sure to help you. Hey, waterfall! Working together with Interpol, it'll take you to the furthest reaches of Tandor. Having the power to scale waterfalls will doubtlessly aid you on your journey. Now, I'm sure I've kept you long enough. Go and make your choices. I'm sure many more adventures lie ahead of you. Oh, my God. We're gonna wrap the series up here, guys. It has been a marvelous trip, and I couldn't have done it without you. And to everyone saying I've got international, hell yeah, dude! Heck yeah, I have! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, episode, enjoyed the series, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Hit the bell icon to be alerted whenever I go live, post an episode of the new series coming up, coming up, which is Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Not randomized. Thank you guys yet again. You guys are all beautiful people. You guys are amazing. You should feel amazing. We will see you in the next series. Goodbye. <laughs>